on a radio flea market in 2022 I bought this Peltier element and it's here now under this weight this acts as a weight to push it down on the aluminum plate and here are the connections to the milliampere meter um, at first I have to say there is a positive and a negative lead seems very logical when you look for instance on the theory about Peltier elements you can find it on Wikipedia and on YouTube there are many uh, success stories about Peltier elements when they were used as a device to cool something and I've tested it in two ways at first as a um, as a unit that had to cool something I have to put on the heater again it stopped don't know why anyway uh, it gives a lot of soot that's the reason why I will be very careful anyway it's on again here's the heater you can surely see it um, two ways of use of that Peltier element as a cooling device and as a, um, a, a voltage and current source and I was especially interested in the second application but anyway let me tell something about my first experiences so using it as a cool cooling device when you connect the positive and the negative to the heater sorry to the Peltier element the top gets warm and the backside gets cold but when you reverse the voltage the top gets cold and the backside gets warm and with warm I mean 47 degrees Celsius and with cold I mean 27 degrees Celsius you can feel it with your finger it feels cool this was a very short first test that's important to say and uh, in this situation the Peltier element took 2.8 volts at approximately 2 ampere that is say 6 watt in the order of 6 watt I did not experiment further with higher uh, voltages or currents this element is in a certain way unknown to me but anyway so that's why I want to stay on the safe side the other application like I told I use it as a voltage and current source the heater is under the, uh, the Peltier element and again the same phenomenon uh, the positive and the negative here there will be a current flowing but when you when you reverse the uh, the voltage source you flip it you have the same result in my first experiment 0 0.03 volt at 30 milliampere but now I think uh, it is pressed down somewhat better so there's more heat now going to that Peltier element and we are now on 60 milliampere well that's a lot in my first experiment it was 30 milliampere I don't want to heat up the element too much simply because there is a temperature limit so I switch not switch off but um, close the heat source and that was more or less all to tell thanks for watching show the schematic for another time I think it's very a very interesting element with which you can do many experiments uh, I could see that on Amazon they you can buy them and they are cheap I'm more or less sure but I have to test that 
that it is possible to supply, say, a simple transistor radio, perhaps uh, another electronic device with uh, Peltier elements in series, I think, because as far as I could see, the output voltage is very low, but perhaps that depends also here on the load, the meter that I'm using. This forms in a certain way a shortcut for the element. Anyway, first experiments, first thoughts, and here is how it looks like. Peltier element bought in 2022, front, back, etc. etc. Thanks for watching.